I was browsing Netflix, as you do when you have no friends, and I kept running across this one show called Slug Terra. And I kid you not, this is a show where there's a secret underground world where slugs are the primary weapon of self-defense. So obviously this show is genius. Apparently this is another one of those Canadian shows because for some reason Canada manages to make some of the best cartoons, and it began airing in 2012. Now I started watching the show just to see how bad it is. I mean, I couldn't believe this show could in any way be good, but to my surprise, it's actually one of the most entertaining shows I've ever watched. They shoot slugs that also have superpowers, which would give the writers a lot of room to make some self-aware jokes that acknowledge how stupid the idea is, but they don't. They focus on the action, and the story, and the characters, and by golly gosh, they actually make fun and interesting plot lines. So to catch you up to speed, there's this one guy, his name is Eli Shane, and his dad was killed by this one super evil businessman named Dr. Black, which nowadays I doubt would pass PR, because it just seems a little too close to being racist without actually being racist. So Eli Shane finds his way into the underground world of Slug Terra, where he finds out he's the son of a super famous slug shooter cowboy rootin' tootin' dude. He decides to team up with a few friends and completely abandon his life on the surface world and stop Dr. Black, which sounds sounds like a completely reasonable thing to do. It's not like he had friends on the surface, or a mom. <clears throat> Those things are important. Now, here's where we get into the part where the show is actually good. First of all, you'd think the super-powered slugs would be stupid, but they're basically Pokemon, like, except every Pokemon is a slug. They form relationships with them, they train together, and they even have episodes where they get into the moral dilemma of the treatment of the animals and how using them for personal gain is inherently wrong. I can only imagine PETA watching the show and having an aneurysm when they see slugs being rocketed out of blasters. Then, Netflix decided to take the show down before I could finish it. Thanks, Netflix! So yeah, but luckily, no one's ever needed to actually know about a topic to have opinions about it, so here's what I dug up. Now, when I was watching it on Netflix, it had two seasons, and I was stupid enough to think that's all that was ever made. But boy, was I wrong. This thing had six seasons, according to the Wikipedia article. Two of those seasons were basically movies. It also turns out that this show only ended a few years ago. It stopped in 2016. I feel like this show is the epitome of Quote, there are no bad ideas, just bad executions, unquote. Which honestly, I hate saying because I hate how sappy and cheesy that sounds, but I can't help but realize how true it is. If someone came up to me and said they wanted to make a show where they fire slugs out of blasters to save a secret underground world, I'd tell them to get out of my house and ask them who they were. Then I'd tell them that it's a terrible idea and that it would never work. But of course, these shows were made to sell toys. And sell they did. Sort of because they had figures of all, all the slugs. slugs. Just basically all of them. And blasters, too. I got one, and I can tell you it's a major disappointment. I mean, if you're going to make a blaster, it has to compete with Nerf guns, and I'll tell you that it definitely looks cool. The slug darts have a really good quality plastic to them, but the trigger doesn't do anything. You just pump it back and let go of the pump to fire. Do you know how difficult it is to aim with something like that? It doesn't even go that far. I'm about a meter away from the table. I can't even knock down the targets because there's no power behind this thing. Oh, but fret not. If toys are not your thing, then you'll be happy to know that there's a mobile game. Because everyone loves mobile games. And let me tell you, it's terrible. It, like, it's a bejeweled puzzle dragon ripoff cash grab that isn't even done well. There's literally no strategy. You can place the orbs literally anywhere. Like, literally, this game is terrible. I mean, this is the most literal sense of the word literal. But the weird thing is, this game still gets updates. And I don't get why. Like, is this show still going? I can't find it anywhere. I can't find any new episodes. I can't find any resources or news articles about it. So, I don't... Maybe, maybe the developers just or keep getting money out of the game, I guess. Somebody's playing it. The next game is Slug Slinger, and this is actually pretty solid. It's a shootout, where you slide behind cover and fire at enemies while dodging their attacks. It's super simple, but I think I might actually keep this on my phone for a while. Moving on, it turns out the main website is still kicking. I haven't played online Flash games in a long time, so I thought I'd give this one a shot. The first one is called Slug Wars, and it's... quiet. There's not a lot of music at all. 
I honestly went through the tutorial and got bored and quit. The second one was Slug Run. Even though there's not a single slug in the game, it's like Rainbow Unicorn Attack. You run to the left, or to the right, run to the right, and jump when you need to. But this actually started going fast. I don't know how they expect kids to play this game. The controls don't even respond well. Why didn't they just make a crappy main console game? I'd love to play one of those, honestly. As I said, the way us down here in America got the show is through Netflix after Disney XD decided they didn't want it anymore. But now that it's not an option for me, I don't have any solid way of watching it other than getting the DVDs. I can't even pirate it online reliably. The demand for Slug Terra on the internet isn't that strong, and I'm too scared to download anything from the Pirate Bay because, well, you know, viruses. Anyway, it's a little difficult to find out anything else on the show. I honestly thought there'd be more product to show off to you guys, but at least I can tell you that the show is super cool, and you should definitely check it out, and we should also start a petition to get Netflix to put it back on their platform. That'd be great. Oh, am I kidding? Pl <laughs> petitions don't do anything. So as far as what happened to it, well, it got cancelled. You can apparently watch the episodes on Charge, which I've never heard of, but okay. Well, maybe you can watch the episodes, but the website tells me it's unavailable in my country. Apparently, the creators thought it wasn't as popular. Plus, DHX is one of the ones who own Slug Terra, and they probably want to focus their attention more on My Little Pony, since that still seems to be making a lot of money. These companies tend to drop whatever isn't making m enough money, and since there's so little toys made of the show, that's a pretty clear indicator that it isn't the cash cow that it needed to be. What's sad is that the people watching the show was just starting to feel that Slug Terra was finding its fan base, but with so much competition in this industry, these shows need to be a near instant success, otherwise they will be abandoned. That doesn't mean it can't come back, but that will take a lot of convincing and a very active fan base. Oh dang, maybe I should do a video on My Little Pony, I'm sure I wouldn't have any issues with that video. Hey, don't forget to share this video because YouTube likes to ruin small channels if they can. I hope you enjoyed this video, stay beautiful, and keep playing.